with our God and we believe that by the time we go home, oh, our life will never be the same. Begin to pray in that direction. You need a touch of God. Let people know that we are serving a living God. Sickness might disappear. In the name of Jesus. Father, we know that you are God. You are the healer. Father, you are our God. We are not only coming to church, but we are coming to encounter with you, O Lord. Our God Almighty, visit your people once again. Those who are sick in their bodies. My Lord and my God, we need your touch this morning. Oh, hallelujah. This is your church, O oh Lord. You are in the midst of your people this morning. Father, O oh Lord, visit your church once again. Father, visit your church once again. We want to see your abundant power this morning. We want to see your visitation like never before. Father, we need your touch, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, your people are before you. We are praying, my Lord and my God, Father, for a special visitation this morning, for a special visitation this morning. Father, we need your touch, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, 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 Lord, we know that yes, the, day the devil is around, but one thing we know, that you will touch your people, you will save your people, you will touch your people, you will save your people. In the name of Jesus, move, O Lord, move, O Lord, move, O Lord, move, O Lord, in a special way. We call upon your name this morning. We know that you will answer this morning. We are calling the name of Jehovah. We are calling the name of Jehovah. Lord, we know that whenever we call, Father, you respond in haste. Father, we believe and we trust in your name that our life will never be the same. We are crying up unto you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah be unto your name. Like Canaria Bamaleke Noria. Let's shout to your Baba. Hallelujah. Brethren, Matthew 24, when you read from verse 11, the Bible says that because of the iniquity of the world, many love for God will grow cold. Sometimes when the going becomes tough, you even forget that you are a Christian. This morning we are praying that out of this chaos, may the hand of God pull us out. If our love for God is growing cold, I want you to pray this morning. Sometimes you don't even see that something is wrong around you. But this morning we are praying for a divine visitation that God will touch us anew, open our eyes and strengthen us so that we know who we are. Nevertheless, the power of God is still in existence. God is still moving and working miracles. So I want you to begin to pray this morning that Lord, if my love for you is growing cold, oh, touch me once again. Sometimes you don't even care if they call for prayer meeting. You don't even care if there's something for you to come and do. Like before, when you used to run to the presence of God because of the chaos of this world. Many love will grow cold because of their trust, because of the things around them. I want you to begin to pray this morning that God touch me. God touch me. Touch me once more, oh Lord. Touch me once more. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give me all your in my life. Give it burning. Oh, give me all you. Oh, I pray. Oh, give me all your in my life. Keep it burning. Oh, keep it burning. To the dead. Oh. I said, give me all you in my life. Keep it burning. Oh, give me all you. I love a I pray. Oh, keep it burning. Hallelujah. Keep it burning. I said, give me oil in 
mala ke be bani o ke me ayo e mala by pray yeah ke me ayo ke me bani hallelujah e be bani In Matthew 25, when the ten virgins set off to go and meet the bride, the Bible said five of them were foolish and five were wise. And it got to a point when they were running out of oil. The foolish one asked the, the, the wise one, can you lend us your oil? This morning, I want you to pray that God, I need the top up. I need, oh Lord, you to give me more oil. Begin to realize that my oil is drying out. This morning, you need the oil of God. You need to top up. Because you see, that the, when I was reading the story, the amazing thing about this is that they all set up, to all of them. They were all Christians. They were all believers like you and I. Well, how come some of them were wise and some of them were, were foolish? Begin to pray that God, I need a top up this morning. I need a top up. I need a top up. I want you to pray. Be, you know, you realize that I'm running out of oil. I'm running out of oil. I need oil. I need oil because soon and very soon, our, our Redeemer, our Messiah, our soon coming King will come. So I need oil. I need a top up. I don't need to go and ask for anybody. Lord, I need a top up. Visit me once again, O Lord. Touch me, O Lord. Touch me, O Lord. I need oil, O Lord. I need oil, O Lord. I need oil, O Lord. Top me up, O Lord. Top me up, O Lord. Le broshatori ababa le kanori ababa. In the name of Jesus. 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 Le shatori ababa le kanori ababa le kanori ababa. Le brasatori ababa le kanori ababa. Broshatori ababa le kanori ababa le kanori ababa. Broshatori ababa le kanari ababa. Broshatori ababa le kanari ababa. Rakata ramama le kanori ababa. Le broshatori ababa le kanori ababa. Enama broshatori ababa. Broshatori ababa le kanori ababa. Broshatori ababa le kanori ababa. Broshatori ababa le kanori ababa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, your people are before you this morning. Father, we need your top up, O oh Lord. Father, if we are running out of oil, my Lord and my God, this is the right time. This is the right time for you, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, to multiply, O oh Lord, to top us up, O oh Lord, to fill us anew, O oh Lord, to fill us anew, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, le shondori ababa le kanori ababa, rokotori ababa le kanori ababa, le shakandori ababa le inano ababa. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lo shandori ababa le kanori ababa, ro shatari ababa le kanori. In the name of Jesus, lo sotori ababa le kanori ababa le kanori ababa le bo sotori ababa le kanori ababa masala ababa le kanori ababa bo sotori ababa le kanori ababa. Hallelujah, be unto your name. You deserve to be praised, O oh Lord. We thank you, my Lord and my God. Touch your people once again. Touch your people once again. Le sotori ababa le kanori ababa. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I have decided. To follow Jesus. Oh, I have. Yeah, to follow. Oh, I have. I have decided to follow Jesus. Oh, no turning. No turning back. I say, I have decided. Oh, to follow. Yeah, I have. You and I have decided to follow. Oh, I have decided to follow. Leba, ba, ba, ba. No, Tani, ba. And so let the dew of heaven bring out a refresh and show out the glow. I said, let the dew of heaven bring out. Hey, Sharu Yababale Kanari Yababababababa. Ishua, Shua, the 
glory. Oh Lord. Oh show the deal of heaven bring a refresh and show because you and I have decided to follow Jesus we are not turning back or we are not journeying back and because of that we need God to show us glory refreshment, refreshing, the anointing, the filling up of the, the spirit. And so begin to pray this morning that, Lord, I have made a decision to go with you all the way. And for that reason, I need your visitation this morning. That, God, do you show us your glory once again. We are praying and lifting the church of Pentecost, especially Fanting Gates, to the presence of God. That, God, may you visit the church this morning. Whatever we are doing here, we need to see your presence like never before. We want to see your glory like never before before. We want to feel that we are in your presence. So begin to pray this morning. That Lord, show us your glory. Oh Lord, show us your glory. Once again, show us your glory. Because we came here because we know that God will show up. And so we are praying that God, let your people feel your presence. Let your people feel your presence. We are not coming as an ordinary church goers. We are not coming like because it's a Sunday. But we want to see your glory this morning. My Lord, we need to see your glory. Hallelujah. Show us your glory. Show glory to your people, Lord. Show your glory to your children, Lord. Show your glory to anyone who comes here, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory, my Lord. Show us your glory this morning. Show us your glory all this morning. Show us your glory all this morning. I know you are in the midst of your people. Father, we need to see you like never before. Father, we need to see the avalanche power of you this morning. Father, we need to see the impartation like never before. We know and we trust in you that when we call upon you, your name. Father, you show up your glory. Lay Santa Ria Baba Lika Noria Baba. Lay Santa Ria Baba Lika Noria Baba. Bosha Toria Baba. We are, oh Lord, more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. We thank you, oh Lord, this morning. Hallelujah be unto your name. Hallelujah. We need you every hour. Oh, oh, holy, 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 holy ghost. Hallelujah. We need you every day. We need you every day. Hallelujah. Holy. Holy, holy, holy ghost. Oh, come. I want you to pray this individual prayer. That God, I'm here in your presence for a reason. I need to feel something today. I need your touch. You know why you, are, you, you came here. You know why you are in the presence of God. This morning, I want you to realize that the Spirit of God is moving and God still rules in the affairs of his people. And so I want you to pray and say, God, I don't want to go home the same way as I came. But I want to go home like somebody who has encountered his God. Who has been, you know, touched and filled with the spirit of God. So this is an individual prayer that I want you to pray. Why are you here? God, what do you want to do this morning? What do you want God to do for you this morning? Feel the presence of God. This is individual prayer. Pray, God, I need your touch. I need your touch. You have a burden. You have something upon your heart. You have something that you've been yearning and you've been waiting and you've been trusting God for. This morning, I believe that God, oh, is moving in the midst of his people. God is taking control. We need him, oh Lord. And he is here in the presence of God, in the presence of his people. May he touch you this morning. Begin to pray. God, I need your touch. 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 I need to feel you like never before in the name of Jesus. Our God is faithful. Surely, surely, surely our God will show up. Hallelujah. 
in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Leba shatariya baba. Lo shandariya baba. Hallelujah. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. A mighty healer. He healed the lepers. Oh, when a cripple. They started walking. Oh, everywhere he went. My Lord was doing. I say, everywhere he went. Oh, he was doing good. Oh, and mighty he. Oh, he healed the lepers. Oh, when a cripple saw him, they started walking. Oh, everywhere he went. Started walking everywhere he went. My Lord was doing Hallelujah. Everywhere he went. Oh, he was doing good. And mighty he. This morning, as you're sitting in the presence of God, I want you to pray for the touch of God. This is the time for pray for a sick. Prayer for a sick. So I want you to pray for yourself or if anybody that you know is not feeling well. We are believing and trusting God that this prayer will be heard in heaven. That God will visit the sick this morning. Pray and ask God for a touch. That God, I need your touch in my body. Because wherever Jesus went, he was, feel, he was healing. He was healing people. When even the cripples saw him, they started walking. So in that faith, in that word of God, this morning, pray. We are praying for the sick. If you haven't any problem with your body, the Bible says that by his stripes we are healed. And by the word of God, we are acting on the faith that we have. That whenever we pray, God, this morning I want you to touch whatever you feel in your body that is not right. We are praying for the sick this morning. Begin to pray in that direction. Father, I need your touch this morning. Even the sickness and diseases that even the, the, the doctors have not yet diagnosed. We are praying that God will touch us and the blood of Jesus will notify them. Even as we are coming to dine with God this morning. I want you to pray this prayer this morning that, Lord, I need your touch this morning. I need your touch, oh Lord. I need your touch in my body. I need your touch. Begin to pray in that direction. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. This is the prayer for sick this morning. Begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. 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 Father, we pray for your touch, oh Lord, this morning. Father, we pray for your touch, O oh Lord, this morning. Father, our bodies are before you, my Lord and my God. You know what is hidden inside of our bodies. Father, you know, my Lord and my God, even the one that the doctors could not see or diagnose, Lord, you know them. I pray, my Lord and my God, that you shall, O oh Lord, touch our bodies this morning. Lord, touch us, O Lord, touch us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 In your silence, begin to minister to the word of God. Begin to open your spiritual eyes and speak to God one on one. One on one. That what do you want God to do for you this morning? Begin to minister from your spirit with God. Open your eyes. 
your spiritual eyes. Speak with God. See Jesus standing right here in front of you. Speak to him. Speak to him. One on one conversation. To see thee more clearly, oh Lord, be more dearly, follow me more dearly, day to see. your prayer because of the iniquities of this world the love of many will grow cold towards God but your prayer is that God that I may see you more clearly and love you more dearly and follow you more nearly this is my prayer no matter how difficult the going may be no matter how chaos my life may be I don't want to forget about you oh Lord I want to walk in your presence. I want to walk in your presence. I want to walk in your presence. I don't want anything to take me by surprise. But one thing we should know that the Bible says that I know the plans that I have for you. I know the plans. Right from the beginning, God has planned our lives already. Know that. So even in this chaos, you will keep on holding on to him. This is your prayer this morning. This is your prayer this morning. Hallelujah. Jehovah God, you are I trust in you forever. Oh, Jehovah God. You oh, I trust in you forever. At your mercy's Lord. At your mercy's Lord. Standing in your presence, Jehovah. At your message, at your Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Make a joyful announce unto the Lord. Our God is good. And his mercies endure forever. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Shall we rise up and begin to pray? We are in time of worship. We have come to honor our God. We have come to praise his name. We have come to give him the honor that he, he deserves. 
the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Please, if you can, rise up in humility on your phone and just begin to pray. Begin to pray. Lebra masi ile he makaya basi kinde, bre basi ile makaya basu kinde ribo sara basi kinde ribo. Pray, give him the praise, give him your praise, give him the praise for the many things that you have done in your life throughout the week, oh God. His countless blessings. He deserve our praise, oh God. He deserve our thanksgiving, oh God. He deserve our worship, oh God. So lift up your voice, raise up a voice unto him. Raise up one voice unto him who is the king of kings and the lord of lords. He is the creator of the universe, O God. He is the creator of the universe, O God. And all that existed, O God. He is the sovereign ruler of all that exists, O God. He reigns, O God. He reigns supreme, O God. He reigns supreme, O God. Lift up your hands unto him. Lift up your voices unto him. Raise up your voice in adoration unto him. Father, we have come to give you glory. We have come to thank you. We have come to honor you for great many things that you have done in our life, oh God. Father, we have come here to appreciate you. We have come to salute you. This morning we salute you. This morning we salute you and we appreciate you, oh God, for your goodness in our life, oh God. For the Bible said your goodness endure forever. Your goodness endure forever. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name, oh God. We lift up our hands and our voices. We say, blessed are you, oh Lord, for yours is the kingdom, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We bless you for being in our midst, oh God, for being in our, uh, yeah, for bringing us here for the privilege of being in, in our presence, oh God. We want to worship you this morning with all that is within us. We want to praise you. We want to acknowledge your greatness and your power. We want to acknowledge who you are. We want to acknowledge, Father God, for the many things that you have done in our life. We want to acknowledge you for your countless blessings in our life, oh God. Lift up your hands, lift up your hands unto him. Say something unto him, say something unto him. We have come to worship him. We have come to honor him. We have come to worship him. We have come, oh God, Father, to give you all that is in our heart. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to read Job. The Bible says that uh, we all know about how Job uh, faced difficult challenges. But the Bible says that when Job was in that situation, when Job found himself in that situation, the Bible said he stood up, he arose, he tore his robe, shaved his head, and fell to the ground. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, and worship, and worship the Lord. And he said, naked I come from my mother's womb, and naked I shall return. The Lord gave and has taken away. Blessed be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. As Christians, we are to call worship. We are called to worship our creator and our uh, uh, redeemer. No matter what circumstances, regardless of what we find ourselves in. But when Job was in this situation, you know, in the midst of his grief, you know, in the midst of his difficulties, you know, what did he do? He just go down on his knees and begin to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The one who runs the affairs of human race. The one who holds all things together. The one who is the King of Heaven and the King of Earth. Father, let us lift up our voices and begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Blessed the assurance Jesus is mine Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine of salvation Ages of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. Let's take that again. 
praises you are worthy of our thanksgiving oh god mighty jehovah god we want to bless you for you are our providential era you are being with us oh god every day you are being with us oh god the bible said father god and you preserve us oh god you preserve us from evil oh god you preserve our soul and you preserve our going and coming out oh god we want to bless you for that we want to bless you oh god that you are being with us oh god even in the difficult circumstances, oh God, in our challenges, oh God, you have been in the midst of us, oh God. You have delivered us. You have delivered us, oh God. Whatever we went through, Father, you are always there for us. You always show us, oh God. You are always show, oh God. You are always show. For this cause, we say we thank you. For this cause, we say we bless your holy name, oh God. This morning, oh God, we have come before you, humility, oh God. We bow before you, oh God. And we say, blessed are you, oh Lord, for yours is the kingdom, oh God. For yours is the power, oh God. For yours is the glory, oh God. We lift your name on high, oh God. Father, we worship your kingship, oh God. We worship your lordship, oh God. We bless you, our king. We bless you, our king. Our king of glory, king of glory, we bless you. We bless you, 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 we bless you. Worthy your praise, worthy your praise, oh, holy one, I bless you, holy name, he's worthy. Oh, 
118 for you know that God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors and it was not paid with mere gold or silver which lose your value it was the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ the sinless spotless lamb of God we are going to worship the our Jesus. We are going to carry on to worship Jesus. My praise is shall ascend to God who died and I my My praise is shall you. We want to thank you. We want to say we bless your holy name for your countless blessing in our life. We bow before you, O oh God, we bring all that is in us. Join the hosts of heaven this morning. We we'll lift up your name high above. You are supreme God of the universe. Oh, you die. Praise the Lord, I am free. Oh, hallelujah. Church, lift up your hands and worship him. Lift up your hands and worship him. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. He laid down his life for us. Because of him that was standing in the throne, in the presence of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, be unto your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah be unto your holy name, Jesus. For the Lamb of the Lamb of the Lamb is my right. I am free, free, free. Oh, the Lamb. You may be seated. You may be seated.
the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He was hung on the tree. The wrath of God that's supposed to fall upon us fell on the Lamb of God and appeased the wrath of God and he satisfied justice. He left heaven. He left his kingly robe and came down to this earth. He left the indescribable glory in heaven, the adoration of angels, all of them, our master, left it and descended onto this earth, a world full of sin, belighted with sin and in the shadow of death, just because of you and I, just to come and redeem us, just to come and set us free, just to come and reconcile us to our Father. Hallelujah, what shall we say unto Jesus? We are so grateful unto you. We are so thankful unto you for the work on Calvary. For I, you have translated us from the hands of the enemy, from the power of darkness into the kingdom of your dear son. How we praise you. How we love you. Brother, lift up your voice and let him know how you love him from your heart. From the bottom of your heart. This morning we join in the angels. The angels and the hosts of heaven. We are looking on the throne room of God. The Bible said his eyes is like flames. His hair is like wood. It's white like wood. The Bible said he's, he's unapproachable. But he has given us the access to go before him. So this morning, we have joined the hosts of heaven. And Father, we said we worship you. We bow down before your humility. And we worship you. We are so thankful. We are so grateful. For the work you did. So I will be silent before the Lord. honor and glory and power give you all the praise for the glory all the adoration thank you for this morning that you are in our midst to lead us and to guide us what we have to do come take your control all things is in your hand now have your way Jesus we adore you we want to say we love you from the bottom of our heart to you alone be the glory to your church and honor in Jesus' name. And the saints say, Amen. 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 Fountain of praise, God bless you so, so much. This is PRWC Fountain Gate.
morning service. If today is the first time you are joining us, feel at home and enjoy the presence of the Lord. If you are joining us online, this is PRWC Fountain Gate morning service. Follow us as the Lord leads us. In chair this morning is our own dear Pastor Delma and Mama Betty Asoe. Shall we give a clap of praise to the Lord for their presence? God bless you so much, Pastor and Mommy. And also joining us today is the family of our dear sister Eunice Cheche, who was called home to glory. So the family is with us to thank God. So let's join us with the family as we thank God, as we bless the name of the Lord. And also today being the first Sunday of the month, we will have the opportunity to dine with the Lord. So let's prepare our hearts and get ourselves ready. And as the service unfolds, when the time comes, our pastor will lead us in that session. But at this time, before Elder Daniel Stobart is going to be the instrument whom God is going to bless us. But before he comes, our dear sister Noli Odum will give us a ministration. Sister Noli. You can do it better to the glory of God. Whatever we are doing, we are doing it to the Lord. So if you are clapping, clap with all your might, with all your heart to the glory of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, i just like to minister this song um, as it's been a personal favorite of mine um, as well as a personal favorite of the families. Um, it's a song that really speaks to me. Psalm 34, um, and I'd just like to minister it for today. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from every fear. Those who look on him are ready. They'll never be ashamed They'll never be ashamed This poor man cried And the Lord heard me And saved me from My
us bless the Lord every day and night never ending praise may our incense rise let us bless the Lord every day and night never sing and sing until cripples start walking. Hallelujah. I just want to welcome the family once again, the church and the family. I just want to welcome everyone here in Jesus' name. I just want to thank Pastor Del Masue and Mama Betty for giving me this platform to share the word of God with the saints and also the district executives. Amen. Today, um, it is Thanksgiving service, and I'm going to talk about a person that changed the world, hallelujah, and it is no other person than Jesus Christ, amen. My topic today will be taken from, the reading will be taken from Hebrews 13, Verse 8, he said, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. So I'm going to talk about Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Father, we want to thank you for this opportunity given us, Lord, for bringing us here together to meet once again as a family. Father, we thank you that you are going to speak to us. I pray the Spirit of God will minister through me to the saints of God. And I pray to let your word come and fulfill and establish whatever the word has been sent for to do. This is what I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, when I was, I saw, actually I didn't see my name quickly. But Elder Joe gave me uh, a text and I saw that I'm on the, uh, the preaching plan. And sometimes when you don't see uh, the message early, because during the month, you don't know who is coming for the first week. And when I saw my name, like Joe who said, he worshiped and said, thanks be to God. Actually, it was not easy at that time. That would have been very busy. But the Bible tells us that we must be prepared in seasons and out of season. So actually, I have to go before God. I have to pray. 
yesterday I have to be somewhere and I spent the whole night over there. So when I wake up this morning, all my eyes were red. However, However, I encourage myself. So today I'm going to talk about Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. When you read, when you read the book of Mark, the beginning of the chapter 1, he said, this is the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. This is the gospel. Gospel means good news. This is the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And so, Jesus is no... It's not just somebody we can, I mean, mess with, hallelujah, because he comes from above, hallelujah. Jesus is the son of God. Whether we believe it or we don't believe it, he is the son of God. So when you read First John, he said that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. And everything that was made was made without him. Without him was not anything made. And so Jesus Christ is God himself. And we will ask ourselves, how did God allow his son or made a provision for us? We know the story. We know the story about Adam and Eve, the beginning the sin against God, some people say they eat the apple, but it's not apple. The Bible talks about the fruit. They eat of a fruit that God has told them not to eat. They sin against God. And the consequences was death. However, God made a provision. And in the garden, when God went to the garden to call Adam, because God had been going to the garden several times and had fellowship. And God went there to call Adam. Adam started running away. Hallelujah. So ever since that thing started, man started running away. It has continued. It has continued even to our day. That every day, man, when man do not want to go back to God, man is always running from God. When God is calling, man is always running away from God. But thanks be to God that God will always pursue us because it is God who made us. The Bible talks that, that we are God's workmanship, created for good works. Satan had no clue when God was creating us. He has no part in the creation. Though man will continue to sin, man will continue to do all sorts of things, God will also continue to pursue man. Hallelujah. Because when you read the scripture, the Bible says, it is not the will of God that we should perish. None should perish. But man is always running away from God. Even when God is coming for man, God is showing his love, man is always running away from God. And it's very evident in our world today. It's, it's clear, it's obvious that man is always running away from God. And that is why Jesus said that this is the verdict. That men love darkness than the light because our deeds are evil. We always want to pursue evil instead of the light. However, the Bible says that God did not give up on us. The Bible says God so loved the world, John 3, 16, that God loved the world, so loved the world that he gave his only son, his only begotten son. God gave. And he said, so that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Anyone who so ever believes, anyone who accepts Jesus as his Lord, will not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. And when you read Romans 3, verse 23, the Bible says, For all have sinned. 
and come short of the glory of God. Ever since Adam sinned, ever since Adam committed that crime, I would say crime, we, have, we took the DNA of Adam. And so David said, in sin did my mother conceive me. So sin had been around all the time. But thanks be to God that the Bible says that God did not give up on us. God began to work what he does best. He started looking for man. And God had to come into the situation. Because if God did not come, and when we read Genesis chapter 6, verse 6, the Bible says that it, all the imaginations and the thoughts and the actions of men were continually evil. Man go to the state that they continue to sin. They go to bed, anything man can think about is plans to do evil, plans to steal, plans to slander, plans to scam. Everything, the imagination of men, were continually evil. So he got to a time, God said, he repented for making man. But always God has a plan, like I said, the redemption. God decided to buy man back onto himself by paying a price. And that price was Jesus Christ. He had to pay a precious price. And he took his only begotten son, to save mankind. Hallelujah. And now that many of us have become Christian, beginning I was talking about the position of man, man was depraved. Man lost the position that God has given to him. The devil took over, but God has brought us back onto himself. And what he did do, he washed us with his blood. He justified us. He made us righteous. And God gave us the power back, the authority to perform as his creation. Hallelujah. And so now you are a Christian. What are you supposed to do? Remember my topic, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Despite the state we were and now, The authority and the dominion and power that belongs to Jesus has not changed, has not diminished. The actions of men could not take away the power of God because God is a sovereign God. He does us what pleases him. And like I said, God always gives us second chances. So God, in the Bible, in the parable, God talks about the prodigal son. We know the story. The prodigal son came to the daddy, that he gave everything that I own. Though he had not worked, he said, Daddy, you give my portion. He had to go squander all the money. But the good thing is that he saw that he needed to go back. So I just want to encourage you, if you are here and you have backslided, God is calling you back home. Amen. God always gives chances. And there's one thing I know about God, that God will never punish somebody or God will not send judgment on into the life of somebody or destroy a nation or a kingdom of people for not going to give them the warning. God always go back to give people warning. He goes back to give them the message that repent, repent. So no wonder when Jesus Christ was walking on the street of Jerusalem in Capernaum and Bethany and all those areas, he was saying repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. That is what the scripture says. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And all other things shall be added unto you. Jesus was calling people home. He was healing the sick. He was raising the dead. He was speaking into the lives of the people. However, he had oppositions. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Zealots. They were all sects in Israel. And they became a hidden block. A standing block against the people because the people could not see the light. They could not come to God. The things that the priests were supposed to do was different. They were doing a different thing altogether. 
Even when they are supposed to go and sacrifice, bring animals to the, to the temple to worship, they will tell you, animal is not clean, so you need to buy it from the temple. Hallelujah. So no wonder Jesus Christ went there and he had to whip them and said, this house of my father should be a house of prayer, but not a den of thieves, because they were making money in the church. Hallelujah. So Jesus will ever and forever protect his own. He will never allow anybody to take that what belongs to God. Amen. I just want us to read. Romans 5, 8 says, But God demonstrated his love for us. In this, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. While we were yet sinners, we were not righteous. We were not good people. But while we were in our sin, doing all sort of things, Christ died for us. Because God demonstrated his love for us. Now I just want us to read Colossians. Colossians chapter 1. Let me come. Pastor says, don't trust it. Sometimes. Amazing grace, oh Jesus, spare that that I should never. I just want us to read Colossians chapter one, verse fifteen. Going, it talks about Jesus Christ. He said, "The Son is the image of the invisible God." the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in the heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or power or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He goes on to say, verse 17, he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he's the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead. So that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him. And through him to reconcile to him all things. Whether things on earth or things in the heaven. By making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Hallelujah. That is the Jesus we are talking about. God was pleased that through him, through his only son, by making peace. And the peace do not, did not come without the shedding of blood. He had to go to the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was nailed to the cross. The crown of thorns was crushed through his skulls. He wore a spear by his side. Hallelujah. And he cried. When the pain reached a, a climax, he cried on the cross. And that is what Jesus did for us. The Bible says that he is the image of the invisible God. Whether there be thrones, powers, authorities, everything was made for him. Everything was made for him. He had the power to do anything. But the Bible says that he humbled himself. Jesus humbled himself. The Bible says he did not count it robbery. He did not 
even associate himself to be God. Hallelujah. But he humbled himself even unto death. Because God wants to reconcile man back unto himself. And this is the Jesus I'm talking about. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He said, for in him all things were created. Things in heaven, on earth, visible and invisible. Things that we see and things that we don't see. I think there are certain things we see that we can know. When it is night, we can see the sky. We can see the stars. What happened in the galaxy, we can see them. In the night, the moons appear. In the day, the sun comes. There are certain things we cannot see. Even men are trying to reach uh, to the moon. Some are trying to go to Mars. Some are trying to go to the other planets. Recently, we saw India went to the south pole of the moon. China went to the east pole of the moon. Many, can, many countries are trying to get to the moon. But they cannot reach God. Hallelujah. As far as they can fly, they can set satellites into the moon, they cannot reach God. Hallelujah. Because going to God does not, go, does not amount to the physical things. Because the Bible says, this terrestrial body must change, must have a celestial body. And if we have an earthly body, there will be a spiritual body as well. So we can go as far as we can. Unless you have Jesus, hallelujah. Unless you've given your life to Christ. There are many atheists, many scientists, and many people who have come up with theories now beginning to know that there is a God. Many have changed, many have given their lives. Beginning, they were so stubborn. They think the, the, the life we live on this earth is just the food that we eat, the clothes that we wear, the big cars that we buy. But now they are now beginning to reason because the Spirit of God is convicting them. Hallelujah. So I always say there will be surprises in heaven. There will be surprises. Those that you think cannot go to heaven, maybe you see them in heaven. Hallelujah. God is changing Muslims. God is changing every sect of believers upon the face of the earth. Many people are seeing Christ somehow, somewhere. They are changing. They are giving their lives. Yesterday I was talking to one of my one of a friend, I would say a cousin, a family, and I know the state of life that he, he was, she was. And I never asked anything. And she was telling me, he said, I've now, I, since I've dedicated my life to Jesus, it is the best. He said, I've gone through all the situations. I've done all sorts of things. And he told me, he said, that I'm using the social media to preach to people. And many are giving their life to Christ. And I said, thank God for that. And so sometimes you cannot see somebody over there today and think that he will be in the same situation. Hallelujah. God has a way of turning people around. He went through that situation thinking that the earth can give him the pleasures and the everything. But at the end of the day, he realized that after having gone through all the, the trials and temptations, all those sort of things, he realized that he must go back to God. Hallelujah. And yesterday I left the place very happy. So God is convincing people. But I just want to encourage those who are here, who already are in Christ, that the Bible says that we should put on the whole armor of God. It talks about the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. And the Bible says, pray. And having done all this, you have to stand. Hallelujah. You have to stand because the world is going to come at you. There are so many things changing. Policies are coming. Regulations are going about even the way you cannot do this. You can do that. You can, because we hold the truth. Men do not like the truth. Hallelujah. Whatever the truth is, people will go against it. But the truth is the truth. Hallelujah. We cannot change the truth. So I just want you to stand firm in the Lord. I just want to encourage the church family. You know, the, sovereign, the sovereignty of God can never be understood. Hallelujah. We know Mama Eunice, you know, after this death, I, 
I heard many stories about her. She was a, a good woman. Hallelujah. She was Dorcas in the Bible. She does things secretly when people do not know. And one thing I know about her, she's very simple. She's very simple. She has it, but she's very simple. Hallelujah. Some of us, when we get a little thing that we, we raise our shoulders, I say, we have it all. But she was very simple. And I want to say to the teacher that the Bible says there was one king who died. He said, Isaiah said, after the king, Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. God in his sovereign way knows what he's doing. When Job had a problem, the news was coming forth. And the news was coming forth. It comes, your cattle are dead. A, a wind came and blew the house where your children live and they all died. That was the news. When Job heard that news, the Bible says that Mama preached, uh, he gave the scripture. He just went straight, shaved his head, took his mantle off and worshipped. Hallelujah. And what I believe when mommy had the situation and you know that that is the will of God. If God has not taken, did not made her remain, God is God. Hallelujah. I believe that is what he would do. He worshiped because he knows that she's going to a better place. Hallelujah. She's going to a better place. Sometimes on this face of the earth, married people behave as if they are not married. Sometimes it happened to me. I've, it looks as if I don't have any wife. I have a wife, but sometimes you want to be with God. Hallelujah. When you read, I, I, there is one thing I, I quote from uh, this man's story. Shakespeare, when Brutus had given the last blow to Caesar, and he came and gave a speech, and he said, not that I love Caesar less, but I love Rome more. Wives, husband, I want to tell you, not that we love you less, but we love God more. Sometimes you may not know the reason why we are behaving. We just want to have that intimacy with God. And sometimes you want, you want to have your husband, you want to have your wife, but the man wants to have an intimacy with God. And when you see that, don't be angry, hallelujah. Because God is sweet. God is sweet. Sometimes I, for, I for one, before I become a Christian, it's not easy for you to convince me. Because, but when I became a Christian, I started searching for myself. Hallelujah. I started searching for myself. I did not let somebody come and convince me, but I started searching for myself. And when I know that God is real, God is true, nothing did change me even up to today. You can't come and tell me, go this, and I'll believe you just like that. So sometimes, some people don't believe me. They, don't, they, they think I don't believe in um, um, this kind of uh, prophecies and all those things. I believe in prophecies. But all I say, I tell you that my blessings is not in your mouth. My blessing is in God's hand. Hallelujah. God uses you to speak what God wants you to tell me. So my blessing is not in your mouth. Well, that you do that and God will do it. And if all those that have been said, if it has happened, that then no one will be here. Everyone will be a millionaire and billionaire. Hallelujah. We have so many people going up, parambulating themselves around, thinking as, as if the gospel belongs to them. I think thinking that the, the prophecy is in their belly. So we can just release the prophecy. Hallelujah. But I just want to encourage you that read the Bible for yourself. Know God for yourself. And when you know God for yourself, nobody can thwart the plans that God has for you. Because he said, because God says that the plan I have for you are, are for good, not of evil, to give you a hope and expected end. Hallelujah. Sometimes God, like I said, God's sovereignty may be very difficult. Look at these Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. They have so much faith in God that even when they were taken to, into the fire, he said, oh, Cain, we are not going to argue about this situation. We know that our God will save us. And even if the God we serve do not save us, we will not bow. We have to reach that pinnacle. Christians must get to that pinnacle. Sometimes I see people being caught by police and, I mean, harass them on the street. When they, when they catch you, let them catch you. Because God, if you are speaking the truth and they catch you, it's better. Hallelujah. So don't be, so oh, they catch him and he's on the social media, it's going viral. Let it go viral. Because what were you doing? You were preaching the gospel. Sometimes we become so diplomatic that 
we look, we take Christianity like we dress and we come and that is all. God wants us to stand for him. And this is the time. I encourage the family of the church that God has a plan. Me, I know God has a plan for you. Because I've gone through, my daddy died when I was 11, 13 years. I didn't understand what death is all about. Until I came to know Christ, I was, I would go to Sunday school. It got to the time, my father would say, well, leave the children, don't let them go to Sunday school. And God took him away. He was 45 years. But when I got to know the Lord, I don't, do not let anybody tell me who God is. I found that, that we are making so much mistakes. The pleasures of the world has blinded us because the Bible says this man, Satan, always goes about trying to blind people, close their ears to the good things. And so I just want to encourage the family. God has a plan for the family, the church. The children are going to be great upon the face of the earth. The, the church is going to smile and smile again. I'm telling you, it will happen. The family will one day sit down and say, and bless the name of the Lord. At the end of the day, Job blessed the name of the Lord. God multiply it. Because God will never leave his children. He knows that the mother must be here, but God took her. And do you think God will leave them like that? No, God would never. And I, I want to tell you that even though my daddy died those years, I am here. I am here. And I want to thank you that, I want to thank God that most of my family have given their life to Christ Jesus. And if I come and you don't know Christ, I begin to question you. I need to tell you about God. Hallelujah. I had a friend, I won't be, I won't be too long, I had a friend in Italy. I, I used to live in Italy before I migrated to this country. I had a friend, friend in Italy. He, he married a woman who later came to know the Lord. And he was so terrible against the wife. So the wife, that time I have been to Italy and we, he comes to church. So we meet, we talk. And that was her prayer that God touched my husband. God touched my husband. The husband was so stubborn. He's very good in organizing parties, Sundays, going booze, you know, the women here and there. I tell you, when, you have, when you're a young man, you come to Europe, you have a problem. When I came to Europe in Italy, they were all coming. They were coming like water. But I stood on my ground, hallelujah. I stood on my ground because I know the coming has a consequences. Hallelujah. There were so many ideas coming, so sort of thing. But one good thing I, God did to me that immediately I go to Italy, six months, he did not let me work. God let me fast and pray. I was praying and praying and praying. So the time I got at six months is like fire. We were going around the country preaching the gospel. And sometimes the people we bring to Christ, the Italian, they said that, we said, oh, you know, Pentecost, we have the protocol. This is our pastor. He said, no, 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 this is not your pastor. You are the pastor. I said, why? I said, this is my pastor. They see you as a pastor rather than the pastor who is not involved. Hallelujah. And so, God is so wonderful. Whatever God does, he does it for our good. And so, even as I bring my message to end, I had to, all that I write, you know, when the Spirit is speaking, all that you write does not make sense. Hallelujah. Though it guides you. So in Isaiah, I'm talking about the servant of God. He said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways. Your thoughts cannot be God's thoughts. Your ways cannot be God's ways. Man proposes, but God opposes. Hallelujah. And that is the sovereignty of God. God is sovereign. He does what pleases him. Sometimes I say, if God can change a man to a woman. The doctors are trying to do that, but it's wrong. You know, God can do everything. Sometimes I wonder how he could stop a sea for human beings to walk on the ground. The swells, the sharks, everything were no more. But they could walk through. God did it. Hallelujah. If God can cause the sun, to, someone will speak and God made the sun to stood still to overcome his enemies. God is God. Sometimes go back to the Bible. Read examples. He plagued Egypt with plagues. Ten mighty plagues. To prove to the God of Egypt who have ten gods at that time that he is God. 
And so when you read all those things, they are not stories. They are telling you that God is alive. This morning, I want to tell you Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let's give our life to Christ. Let's communicate with him. He's ready to talk to you. Go to God in prayer. Because you are not going to God, that is the problem. You cry a lot instead of going to God. And when we do that, and those hearing me, if you have not given your life to Jesus, this world will never be anymore as time goes on. We will never see this world. The beautiful things you see around, the nice, nice hotels, the cars you ride, you are not going to see them anymore. It's better you give your life to Jesus Christ. And when you give your life to Jesus Christ, you have eternal life. God bless you all. God bless you very much, Elder. How sweet the name of Jesus sounds in a believer's ears. Yes, it it soothes his sorrows, sorrows, heals his wounds, and drives away his fears. How sweet the name sounds in a believer's ears. It soothes his sorrows, heals all wounds, and drives away his fears. It makes the wounded spirit whole and calms the troubled breast. Tis man to Your soul is hungry. The word of God is the one that can fill you. The word of God is all we need. The word of God is what we need. If you are hungry for freedom, you need the word of God. If you are hungry for peace of mind, Coming to church does not just give you peace. Coming to church here, sit down, dance, sing, give offering, praise, worship, does not really give you peace. Everybody can do it. The Madonnas can do it better. Michael Jackson could sing and you see people collapsing. Somebody will say being slain under the evil spirits. But the word of God gives peace. Because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. If you don't believe in him, today is a great opportunity. We have changed so much, but Jesus does not change. I thank God that I am not God. Human beings would have been finished long ago. Because we keep changing. We are always changing. But God created us to be like him. But Adam was God number four. But we have changed so much. Come back to Jesus. Please, come back to him. Elder said, he, he keeps chasing after us. Today, he didn't expect a gospel message. 
But you feel somebody is just pursuing you with the word of God. Yes, indeed. Jesus needs your very life. He wants you changed. He wants you transformed. Please. This is the biggest opportunity in the entire service. That a soul will give their life to Jesus. Who does not change? Um, don't be shy. And don't be diplomatic. We are not diplomats. Elder was very blunt because he's not a diplomat. Come to Jesus. He is the answer. He is the solution. If you would, if you can wave me wherever you are, if you want to accept Jesus into your life. The Bible says that after hearing the word of God, we believe in our hearts and then we confess with our mouths into salvation. There is no other ritual than confessing Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Why won't you let this be today? Don't let today pass. Is anyone here? If you let it pass, tomorrow Jesus will still chase you with even a more, a more powerful way than this one because he wants you. We want to pray that we would be steadfast and not change. Pray that you will not be a chameleon who changes their skin color depending on the environment. When Ella said, in heaven there will be surprises, my heart missed a bit because I don't want you to be surprised not to see me in heaven. And we don't want to be surprised not to see you in heaven. That is why we need to pray that we would be strong and unchanging. We also pray that may the Lord transform us, not changing us from glory to glory until we all reach unity in the faith. And in the full stature of Christ. That will be our prayer. Shall we be on our feet? There's this song I heard many years ago. I remember the, 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 the part of the chorus. And if you can't sing it, just listen to the words. You want to pray. That the Lord will take us back to where we first believed him. When everything was about Jesus. Now there's so many excuses why you can't worship Jesus. Too many excuses. Too many of them. Do you think God is listening to them? Or he minds your excuses? He wouldn't. He wouldn't. That is going to be our prayer. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first visited you. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, where Take me back, dear Lord, where I first be. Begin to pray to God that you will not be a disappointment to Him. 
You know how far you've drifted away. You've changed so much. Child of God, you've changed too much. But ask God to take you back to where you first received him, where you first gave everything. Where you were determined to be holy. Where you determined it was God first. Now there are so many things that are first. God is third, fourth, fifth, sixth, somewhere else along the line. And I said, let's love God more than our wives. Love God more than your husband. Because in heaven there's not going to be marriage. It will all be about Jesus. Shall we pray the name of Jesus? Lord Jesus, we commit ourselves to you, God. We've changed too much. But we thank you, Lord, that you are still calling us back. You're calling us to change, Lord. We present ourselves to you, Lord. I present myself to you, Jesus. Search me, God. Lord, please refocus my desires. Lord Jesus, I give everything to you, Lord. Father, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Father, forgive me for the lukewarm attitude towards us. Forgive me, Lord, for put you second, third, fourth. Forgive me, Lord, for I've changed too much. Help me, Lord, for materialism is eating into my system. Pray for the church, Lord, pray for the church. My friends, pray, let's pray for the church. That materialism will not take over. That the church will be good at what we are called to do. Lord Jesus, transform us in God. No kasoni ma bendele besi. Ni kasaka ma dala masa. No nane ma mara masa. Ni kasama mara masa. In the bed of The touch of you can change my life. And set my soul on fire to do your will. A touch of touch you, of you can has change. changed my life. to Jesus. Even Jesus said, Father, let your will be done. But we have so hooked onto our will. I will to do this. I, 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 I. I want to hand over this I to Jesus. Who does not change that he will keep us. Pray that you will be unchanging your will. Hand over your will to Jesus if you will. In fact, I cannot pray for you to hand your will to Jesus because I don't have authority over your will. I have my will, but it will be great. 
that we will all say, Lord, let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done in Fountain Gate. Not our will. No. Lord Jesus, we cry out to you, Lord. Let your perfect will be done. Losa Kande Romasa. In our marriages, let your will be done. Not our egos, not our traditions. Loka Santapo, not our knowledge, not our will, but your will, O oh God. Lo Samaraba Sakata. Metakoni Mesuki Brondo Lobo. As leadership of this church, as leadership of Fountain Gate, as leadership of this church, Lord, let your will be done. Please, Lord, Ramasaka Doma Sekasa. No kebora babala basi. Lika tuni mesuki be. Our will leads to destruction. Our will can lead to death. Our, lead, our will will lead us to defeat. But your will is unchanging. Kabala sanda mahatane kosa. Le mama hakone soki brendere meseke basa. No kasoke bendere mese. Mota kine me bendere mesoki mamanda hata. Rosa konebe koro bo sokema tas konebe mo malama se halasu kapo bandele bebe. We want to take our last prayer. Thank you, Jesus. We are ambassadors, but we are not diplomats. Pray that as God has sent us, called us as ambassadors, you will be blunt with the gospel. We will polish it. Make it presentable to people. What? It's not my word. It's not yours. Why do you want to polish it? Why do you think people should not be offended by the gospel? Was that what Jesus did? He preached that nobody was offended. Anytime Jesus opened his mouth, these Pharisees, these Sadducees, these Essenes, they were all offended. Because that was the truth. We have the truth. Please don't polish it. A Polish truth is a lie. It is no longer the truth. A Polish truth is half truth, and the half truth is more dangerous than the false itself. But pray. Tell yourself, tell God, please, I don't, I don't want to be a diplomat anymore. No, we are not. We need to be blunt with the gospel. Pray and ask God to give you that courage and bravery. Because yes, his zeal will accomplish this. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Lord, you called us to deliver your gospel to the world. No, Ramasekata. Father, we pray for boldness. Lord, we pray for boldness. Father, forgive us for being diplomatic. Oh, Brasokin Duri Basaka. Lord, help us to be bold and tell the world they need Jesus. Help us to be bold to tell the world Jesus is the way. Lord, encourage us, help us to tell the world there is no other truth. Let us tell them the truth is, the truth is not relative. The truth is Jesus. We pray for boldness, Lord. Lekaba, fill us with your spirit, O oh God. Labra katan teri koma sakaha taka. Mana makone mesuki bana le mame. Fill us, O oh God, with your spirit. Fill us, O oh God, with your spirit. The spirit of boldness. The spirit of bravery. Likasa, handa kumoro katoni ma. Yama sakata le makoni ma bendere mebeleke. Losa in the Kuma Sokindo Rababara Basakata. So Barabakoni Metukima Bendele Bebe. Father, we know you are sending us the solution of this chaotic and decaying world. But we have been too diplomatic. We pray in the name of Jesus. We change our ways in the name of Jesus. We change our stand in the name of Jesus. We move in the name of Jesus. Laka Saka Lama Sekindori Mabeka Sars Lama Sekindorobo Komosoka.
Le mahari basuki bundo rubu. Bakando basuki ndo bareza hita. Mandala basaka baha. Oh makuri besundali. Spirit divine, attend our prayer and make this house thy home. Our dear Lord, we want to bless you for this opportunity you've given us that we will come back to you. That we will change from our changing ways. That we will be like you. The one true God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Help us, O oh God. Help us, Holy Spirit. We want to pray, Father, for the church of family. We pray that you breathe upon them your peace, the peace that sustains, the peace that strengthens, the peace that encourages in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for any soul that is searching, searching and searching and searching. Lord, I pray that you open their eyes, the eyes of their heart, the eyes of their mind, 
to know that you alone are the answer. You alone are God. I want to thank and bless you for allowing Elder Father to be the vessel to minister to us. We pray that you will replenish him. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Shall we take our seats, please? We please ask that the Lord's Supper be brought right in front here, please. And whilst our soldiers do that, I also want to take the opportunity to introduce to you Mrs. Florence Ansa, who is wife of Apostle Johnny Ansa, the regional head of the Church of Pentecost, Maryland Regions, United States of America. And you are welcome. We want to dine with the Lord, and I'd want to read what the Apostle Paul received from God in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23. 1 Corinthians 11 from verse 23. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So then, whoever eats the bread or drink the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. This is why many among you are weak and sick, and a number of you have fallen asleep. But if we were more discerning with regard to ourselves, we would not come under such judgment. Amen. Amen. This is the word of God and what Apostle Paul had received from Jesus to his church. I pray that we would discern whilst we come to the Lord's table. This table is a table of blessing and it can be a table of destruction. But I pray that today to be a table of blessing for you. Um, to add to this, the Church of Pentecost, we do not um, approve of polygamy. So if you have more than one wife or more than one husband, would, would uh, ask you to reconsider your position and change so that all of us would die with the Lord. Aside that, if you are not yet baptized, please wait, see um, the presiding elder, the discipleship team, the disciple you ready for baptism. Aside that, examine yourself. Examine yourself. Hallelujah. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus, it washes white as snow. Shall we pray? Our Father, I want 
to lift up the bread and the wine to you. When you lifted it, you said, this is my body and this is my blood. As we dine in fellowship, in agreement with you, Lord, we pray that it will be an avenue of healing, an avenue of restoration, a place that will meet you, Lord, and even know you more and more. We sanctify this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can I invite all officers, ministers, wives, elders, deacons, deaconesses? Um, the way this one is, um, I'm just want them to be the first to take it and then everybody starts. If not, we're going to spend the whole time here. So, um, So we're going to take it as a family, but starting with the leaders. If there's something good in it, they are the first to have it. If something bad in it, they'll be the first to have it. But today it's all goodness. Hallelujah. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh. Take your seats, and can we have oh, the, blood, um, oh, the members come in, please? Oh, Jesus. Oh, can the ushers please the let the members oh, help them? Jesus. Hallelujah.
There is power. There is power. Power. Wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power. There is power. 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 Wonder working power in the prayer. It. If you have it, please take it. Sing, oh, 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 oh,
still have your emblems please take them now please we want you to have them now oh precious is the flow that makes me white as snow no say thank you to Jesus thank you Lord we want to thank you Jesus even for this table thank you Lord for counting us worthy thank you Lord for drawing us closer to you God thank you for the power in the blood the blood that washes our sins away the blood by which you've overcome the devil the blood that heals us, oh God. We want to bless you and thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Our dear Lord, we still just want to say thank you for this great redemption and for this privilege to take your body and your blood. Lord, to make us one with you. Who are we, Lord? We bless you, Father, for the blood of Jesus. And shall we say, Amen. Amen. Please do take your seats. Amen. Um, please, at this juncture, we want to call um, Dr. Cheche and family um, to tell us what God has laid on their hearts for us. And then after that, pastor will pray with the family. And then after that, we will bring our tithes and offerings. So at this juncture, we call Dr. Church and family. My God is able, is able. I know my God is able. I know my God is able to carry us through. Mm, my God is able. He is able. I know. to 
carry us through. I want to thank God Almighty for this opportunity um, to see my beloved wife off. Um, I heard the sermon and I just want to say that yes, I trust in the sovereignty of the living God we serve. He even created the wicked for an evil day. That's how sovereign he is. Um, Elder mentioned about technology. Yes, people are landing on the moon, the stars. But he is able to number all the stars and give them names. Where has science reached so far with that? Nowhere. And this is the God we serve. He is indeed sovereign. Nothing frustrates more than being a medical person and you couldn't help your wife. Even in the most difficult moments and painful times. Somewhere, Jehovah said that he was misunderstood when he even performed the miracles in Egypt. At the rest, he, the Israelites provoked him, but he was so rich in mercy that he paved the way for them to pass through the Red Sea. I trust in you, my God. And I'm resolute. I want to thank all gathered here. I want to thank God for bringing us this far. I thank the, 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 uh, the presbytery, starting from the, um, the, the area head who was here to give the sermon. The, the pastor and the wife, and everybody that made it from far and near to come and show their love. People have traveled from America, got back in Ghana. People left their precious time of work to come and mourn and console us. I want to thank everybody. Your visits, your prayers, your support, your words of encouragement, your gifts, your donations, I mean, will never be forgotten. I want to thank you all. Words are more grateful than I can express. The journey is not ended. I know very soon it will be left with me and the kids that she has given me. But I know and I trust in the sovereignty of the Lord that he will carry us and see us through. I still solicit your prayer support. Everything that you have done, I know you will do again or even more. But I trust that the sovereign Lord, who knows even the sparrow, how much does it cost? But before one falls, the, the, the sovereign Lord knows. So my trust is in him. One day, we'll all cross the Jordan. So, it's left with us who are living to prepare and get ready. When the appointment comes, we honor. Thank you all. Thank you. God bless you. Please wait as Pastor prays with the family, please. Um. I want to speak to you, my uh, dear brother. Um, you made a statement that number one is not ended. That is perfectly true. Number two, that very soon you will be alone. And that is what I want to throw in again what your God has done. Um, there were a few months ago I spoke to some widows. I was bleeding for them because of what they've gone through. Then they tell me, Pastor, if you know what the Lord has done and how the Lord has been with us, and I cannot understand what they're saying, but they said it with so much meaning that I'm still struggling to understand what the Lord has done. 
So I want to encourage you. The Lord says he will never leave you nor forsake you. You trust in him, but you begin to see another level of that trust. That is the kind of God he is. You can never, ever fully understand him. You've seen a face of him. He will show you another which is very progressive and more powerful. This is not to um, only doctor, but our dear children and the family. The God we serve, he will beat your mind. I, I assure you that. He will do it and you will still be thinking, what is God doing? I encourage you by these words. In Isaiah 57, he says that the righteous are taken away. And all of us, you know, every good thing being said about Eunice, why, why, why? God says he takes them away to spare them of evil. So why didn't God take away the evil then? But he has his master plan. I encourage you to be resolute, as doctor has said. And not only that, expect God to do something that you've never thought of. Shall we share a word of prayer? Father, we thank you once again for Eunice's family gathered here. We pray for Dr. Tsetse. We pray for the children. We pray for the family. We pray for your church. We pray, Lord, that you help us to keep our focus on you. Comfort us, O Lord. Breathe your spirit upon us again and again. You have promised never to leave us nor forsake us. We continue to pray for these children. Lord, when they need a mom, Father, speak to them. Reveal yourself to them. Because you give. You give everything. You are able to give. We pray, God, for our dear doctor. We ask, Lord, that you grant him strength, even in these times. That the strength and comfort that he will receive he will also be able to comfort others with it because we believe that is one of your plans. We thank you for what you've done and what you will do. In Jesus' name we pray. May the peace of God that transcends all understanding rest with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Now thank we all our God with us and us and voices who wonders this as in whom is world rejoice What shall we say to our dear elders to but God bless you so much for the word and our dear pastor for the prayers and ministering to us the communion pastor God bless you so so much amen it's time to bless the Lord with our substance whatever the Lord has blessed you with it's time to give to God what is due to him a tenth of what he's blessed you with. And if you are a gift aider, please um, use your gift aid reference. They will put the account number on the board, um, the church's account number. Um, the Dr. Church's account number will come 
will be left there after, uh, after the tithes and offerings so that anybody who wants to bless the family can still do that. The account number will be put there after the tithes and offering so that if you want to bless the family, if you have something in your hand for the family as well, there is a table at the back. Um, you can visit the table at the back and then uh, leave your present there and it will be given to the family after the end of the service. This time is our tithes and offering. That is for the church. So um, please, if you change the account number on the screen for me, please. Uh, it's time for our tithes and offering. Whatever the Lord has blessed you with, um, give a tenth to the Lord, a tithe of it to the Lord. And today being the first Sunday of the month, straight after our tithes and offering, we'll be giving the missionary offering. We have our pastors, Pastor Siam just left for missions. The missionary offering is what we gather to help our missionaries. Uh, this church, we are blessed with um, a lot of missionaries from this place. Pastor Siam, Apostle Ben, Apostle Raymond. Um, let's uh, do this beautifully. So after our tithes and offering, the missionary offering will follow straight away. Then we will take our announcements and then we will leave the auditorium. Amen. Amen. FOP. Please rise to your feet. Stop. Okay. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, so this first offering coming, and after that, this missionary offering. We're going to praise the name of the Lord together. Amen. There is power. How wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Say, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood. Say, there is healing, healing, wonder working, healing in the blood of the Lamb. Say, there is healing, healing, wonder working, healing in the blood. One more time. Blood of the Lamb. There is healing, there is healing, yeah, healing, wonder working, healing in the blood. In the blood. Of the Lamb. Yes, there is. There is healing. healing. In the precious blood of the Lamb. Everybody say, kept by the power of God. We are kept by the power of God. Oh, day by day, come what may. Yeah. 
Missionary offering, please bring your missionary offering. Please bring your missionary offering. Power of God, say, we are kept by the power of God. Day by day. Power of God. Uh, please, for the missionary offering, is the same account number, but just add MO to the MS. So MSMO. Morning service missionary offering is the same account number. And if you have it physically here, too, you can drop it in the receptors. Amen. Amen. Please bring your missionary offering. One more time. Kept by the power of God. We are kept by the power of God. Day by day, come what may. joy for we are changed and all the hope we have we place in you right now we will say, we will say that you are good and all the miracles you've done have brought us joy for we are changed and all the hope we have we place lift your voice And all the hope we place. Lift your voice, church. Father, we declare.
One more time. Father, we declare, Father, we declare, Father, we declare. Everybody say, I am on a rock, rock at last. I am on a rock at last. My I am on a rock. I am on a rock. Say, I am on a rock. I am on a rock at last. My soul is found resting place. I am on a rock at last. My soul. Jesus is the winner man. Jesus is the winner man. Say, Jesus is the winner man. The winner man. Jesus is the Jesus is the winner man. Say, Jesus is the winner man. Jesus is the winner man. The winner man.
Señores Say I'm gonna dance and praise him It doesn't matter what comes my way The greater one lives inside His name is Jesus His name is Jesus Say I'm born a winner Shall ever prosper. The greater one. The greater one lives inside of His me. name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. I'm born a winner. I'm born a winner. More than victorious. More than victorious. I'm ahead. I'm we are filled. Filled with the Holy Ghost. I rejoice. I rejoice. In my heart, deep, deep down in my heart, I have joy. I have joy. Say, in my heart. say, deep, deep down in Jesus my heart. gave, Jesus gave to me, and no one, and no one can destroy it. Say, I have joy. in my heart, deep, deep down in Jesus my heart. Gave Joy. You have joy. Come on. Come on. Deep, deep, Tell your neighbor. You 
inside. In your heart. Deep, deep down. down. Jesus heart. gave to you. Jesus gave to me. No one. No one can destroy. Hey, you got joy in your heart. One more time. Jesus gave. Take your seats. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We will sing. We will sing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's sing. Amen, amen. God is good. Amen, amen. This is just a taste of what we'll be doing in heaven. This is just an imperfect version. When the perfection comes, beloved, you, you don't want to miss it. You want to be there. Amen. Father, we bless you for what we've been able to bring as a sacrifice, as a token of what you've given us. My Lord and my God, our prayer this afternoon is that, Father God, any pocket from which these have come in accordance with your word, there will be overflow of blessings. Father, our brethren who were not able to give for one reason or the other, we are praying in the name of Jesus that a week today when we come together, Father, you would have visited them and they will be coming with a song on their mouth to say that the Lord has dealt well with me. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you are about to do in Jesus' name. Amen. It's time for announcement, but before they play the announcement, Elder uh, Jewel is going to tell us something quickly for the youth, and then Mama Joyce will tell us something briefly for the Sunday school, and then they will play the announcement. Group 7, your leader will want to meet you in front here after service, please. Amen. Amen. Hi. I'm um, sorry. To all the university students, um, whether you're going to first year, second year, third year, fourth year, final year, whatever stage you are at, um, can you please make your way upstairs as soon as possible um, to the youth room in the auditorium? So if you can make your way upstairs right now, if you are a current university student or you are starting university this academic year, um, thank you. God bless. Mama Joyce. Praise the Lord. Hi, hi, children. Hi, hi, children. Amen. Um, so, um, as part of our church, um, September is Children's Week. And so next week is our Children's Week. Amen. Uh, the program is on our platform, various platforms. We have the activities for the week. Wednesday, there's something. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday is the climax where the children actually take the platform and minister to us. And so we are praying that parents, please... Please bring your children very early on Sunday by 9.30. The children have um, parts that they are learning. Please um, encourage them, ask them, let them say it to you, get them to know it inside out, and let's come and glorify God on Sunday. Amen? Amen. Announcements, please. Media team, please. This is PIWC Fountain Gate, a church where all generations thrive. Thank you for joining us today, especially if this is your first time. We hope that you enjoyed the service. Here are some key announcements for you to take note of. Ultimate Worship 2023, live in London, a musical experience and
and an atmosphere of worship, an evening filled with God's power, live on Saturday, the 23rd of September, 2023. Come and experience some of the best gospel music artists. Deborah Darling, Samuel Refined, Watford City Choir, and the host choir, PIWC Fountain Gate Evening Choir. Doors open at 5pm at Fountain Gate Tabernacle, 746 Green Lane, Dagenham, RM81YX. The Ultimate Worship 2023 is brought to you by PIWC Fountain Gate Evening Service. This is a free event, so don't miss this ultimate worship experience. See you there, and don't forget to invite a friend. If you celebrated your birthday this week up until today, the entire church would like to wish you a very happy birthday. We pray that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. May this year be exceptional for you, and may you testify of the goodness of the Lord in your life. Have a wonderful birthday. In Jesus' name, amen. We also remember to pray for five different people each week. Children's Ministry Week will be held from Monday the 4th to Sunday the 10th of September. Let us pray for and support our children as they prepare for this week. Login to your CH meeting profile to check in for this meeting. Please indicate by checking the appropriate box with your baptism status, both water and Holy Ghost baptism. If you cannot log in or require any clarification, please speak with your group leader. That is the end of today's announcement, but please do visit our website on www.piwcfgt.org where all the events for the month are also captured. And don't forget to subscribe to and follow us on our social media platforms on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram with the handle at PIWCFGT. Thank you for listening. See you again next week. And until then, may God bless you and have a wonderful week. Amen. Uh, media team, God bless you so, so much. Uh, on the 17th of September is our All Nations Day. So let's bear that in mind and then invite friends and loved ones. Let's come in our national costume and bless the name of the living God in our own costume. Amen. And on the 24th is the Officer's Appreciation Day. Uh, please, if today is the first time you are visiting us, if today is the first time you are coming into this auditorium, if you please rise up to your feet let's give you a PIWC welcome. If today is your first time of coming here, if you've never been here before, please rise up to your feet. Let's give you a PIWC welcome. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. God bless you all so, so much. God bless you all so, so much. Um, our welcome team will want to see you immediately after service. Elder Augustine, please, if you rise up to your feet. Um, Rise up to your feet, please. Immediately after service, if you see Elder Augustine, Augustine, he will stand right here, and then he will have a quick chat with you. Amen. Um, next week, Sunday, um, we'll be welcoming our area head by to be in the afternoon service. So um, delegates who are supposed to go, you know yourselves, be ready. At this time, I hand over to our pastor to close the meeting. Amen. Shall we please rise as we bring the service to a close? Shall we pray? Father, we thank you once again for this fruitful time with you. Thank you for 
the fellowship with the Holy Spirit. As we step out, we pray that this week will be successful. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Cause us, Lord, to be humble at your feet, that you will lift us up. We pray for this children's week. We pray for our children, the ones you love, the ones you've given to us. We pray, let your spirit be in this week. Help them in everything that they are going to study. We pray that Sunday will be glorious as you minister to us through our children in the name of Jesus. We want to pray for our university students. We ask, Lord, cause them to excel. Cause them to be light in this darkness in the name of Jesus. Help them to study. And also, Holy Spirit, remind them, Father, every time they have to take exams to account for what they've been studying. We ask for your help in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Father, for all pupils who are starting school. We ask, Lord, give these children wisdom. Help them to be the head of their classes and not the tail in the name of Jesus. If any of them has challenges, Father, with studying, with learning, my God, we pray that you turn things around for your favor and for your own glory. We pray for us parents. We pray for our marriages, Lord. Bless our marriages. Strengthen our marriages. Pour your peace into our marriages. We pray, God, that if anyone is going through challenges in their marriage, we ask that you will step in, Lord, and change things around, that marriage will be enjoyed by all in the name of Jesus. And now may the God of heaven, the one who created all things for himself, may he bless you through and through, and may you step in his steps until you be as great as the one God has called you to be. Go in the peace of God. Amen.